Good day, students. Today we're going to look at some uh, solving some logarithmic equations. Okay, and these are found in um, page 135, number 4, practice 2 in book 2, chapter 5 of the Math 1026 booklets. Now, you'll see I have uh, six different equations here. The bottom three come from the following page, and I want to make you see the difference between these equations, okay? What is the uh, similarities between the two? What are they, how are they different? Now, in the first three I had there from number four, C and D and E, okay? Those three, what you'll notice is that on both sides at equal sign, they have logs. Look at C, there's logs on this side, and there's logs on this side. So both the left hand and right hand side of the equations, there's logs. Same thing here, logs on the left hand side, logs on the right hand side. Same thing here, logs on the left hand side, logs written on the right hand side. They are slightly different than the ones down below. The ones down below, you can see, have logs on one side, and a number on the other side. Logs on the left hand side here again, number on the other side. Logs on the left hand side, number. They require a slightly different uh, technique, uh, step or two. Okay, so there's a little bit difference between some of this. Okay, now the first video I'm going to concentrate on logs on both sides of the equal sign. The next e video I'll do the following, th those bottom three equations, which are logs on one side with numbers on the other. Okay, so let's first of all work on with logs on both sides of the equation. Now, here's your idea. Here's what we got to do. Okay, what we want to do is work this side down to a single log, right, of something, equals, now this is already a single log on this side. So we have to work this down to this step here. Okay, then we can drop the logs, right, and let whatever's here equal to 5. Okay, because the logic is this. If I have log base b of some value m equals log base b of some value n, okay, then what? It makes sense if they're the same base that therefore m must equal n. So you can basically drop the logs. Now people cancel them out. You can, uh, that really makes no difference. So let's tackle these few with that kind of logic. Alright, now the first thing I do, I have to bring this to a single log. Notice I have two logs on this side. So I want to bring that to a single log. You cannot drop the logs at this stage. You must bring it to a single log on both sides. Now, we did this before. How do you bring it to a single log? Well, the first thing I do is I check for any coefficients that need to be moved. Nothing, right? There's a coefficient there of 1 and a coefficient there of 1. So nothing needs to be moved. Now, what does addition mean under separate logs? When you bring these together, right, as a single log, of course you multiply. And since it's a uh, binomial, we'll put the 2 in front so 2 times x minus 4, so that uh, whoops, equals log base 4 of 5. Now, what does that mean to our next step? Well, we can actually now drop the logs, can't we? Because there's the same log on both sides, they're single logs, so you basically drop the logs. Therefore, this part, 2x minus 4, 2 times x minus 4 in brackets, must equal 5. Right? So this portion must equal this portion if the logs are the same base, same value. Uh, right? So, distributive property and solve. So now we're down to a simple linear equation. 2x minus 8 equals 5. Add 5 to both sides, or add 8 to both sides, sorry, to isolate, right? You want to isolate that x, so we got 2x equals 5 plus 8, 2x equals, uh, bring it up here now, 2x equals 13, divide each side by 2, 
and x equals 13 over 2 or 6.5 if you want to go to a decimal. So there's the answer to the first one. Okay, so these are logs equations where logs are on both sides of the equal sign. Alright, let's have a look here. Again, I want to make a single log on this side. I have two logs, I have to go to a single log first. However, this time you'll notice there's an exponent that needs to be moved first. Right? Our coefficient moves up as an exponent. Oops, it's not a it's log two squared plus log x equals log 3. Now you can simplify 2 squared if you want to change it to log 4. Now notice there's no base here on either of these logs. So it's understood to be base 10. You don't need to write that in. You can just leave it like that. Now I can bring them together as a single log. Right? So log of 4 times x equals log base 3. Therefore we can drop our logs. 4x equals 3 and now we can divide each side by the coefficient to solve for x so x is equal to three quarters okay and the last one again now I've got a bit of work to do on both sides there's no, all right, there's no single logs here at all I have two logs on the left hand side I have two logs on the right hand side and before you can drop logs you must bring those to single logs Okay, let's check for, I'm checking for what? Look what I'm looking for. Nothing there. Nope. Nothing other than 1. 1 is understood to be there. Nope. So I don't have to move any exponents first. Okay? Now, subtraction, of course, means division. So it's log of x over 5, isn't it? Divided by 5 equals the log, that's their quotient law, of x minus 3 over 2. Now I have single logs, therefore I can drop the logs. They're all the same base. The base here is again understood to be 10. So I can drop the logs and say therefore x over 5 equals x minus 3 over 2. Now we've solved this type of equation before. Fraction equal to a fraction, a single fraction equal to a single fraction. One of the methods we use is cross multiplication. So 5 times x minus 3 equals 2 times x. Distributive property 5x minus 15 equals 2x. Now this time I have to gather my x terms together so I'm going to bring 2x over to this side. So subtract 2x from both sides. Add 15 to both sides. Move this 15 over here to get well, what will I get? I'll have 5x minus 2x equals plus 15 can you see that? And now we say that's 5x minus 2x is 3x. 3x equals 15. Now you divide each side by 3. Therefore, x equals 5. Okay, so there's three examples of solving log equations. The type of equation we saw has logs on both sides of the equal sign. In the next video, I'll do log equations of the other type where there's only logs on one side and a number on the other. So have a look at those.